Hello, and welcome to another tutorial from me, Sean. Um, basically, got a request on how to actually texture a brick. So I thought I'll just make a quick tutorial, you know, and uh, show him how to do it. I think his name's Rich. So what you do is um, say this. This isn't actually. Let's just pretend this isn't textured, yeah. So we'll press M to get a material editor. And for now, I'm just going to give it default look. So this is how you would usually look at your your material. Well, it usually you'd have that color, whatever colors in here it would have here if it had no texture on it already. So we want to, you know, we want to texture this. So what you can do is because they're all joined together, you don't actually have to move it so you can texture it. What you got to do is press press and hold Alt and press Q. And this will isolate the whole selection so you can actually look around it. Now if you're having trouble looking around the uh, viewport, um, just just hold in Alt and click the middle mouse and drag. You've got to keep all these held at the same time, just to keep in mind. Okay, so that's just um, a simple way of uh, navigating around your object while you texture it. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to give it texture. There's different ways of giving an object uh, a texture. Um, you can use UVW uh, mapping. You can unwrap it as well. Unwrapping's more accurate. Uh, UV maps just a, a, a quick, simple way of uh, applying the text, the texture. Uh, it's mainly used on um, simple primitives, um, but UV do, UVW uh, unwrap is the way forward if you're looking into. Um, stripping your object down uh, like a plan of you and then taking it into Photoshop and texturing it. So, right, so what I'm going to do is um, so we're going to select this object. So it's selected, it's got this white line around it which means it's selected. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, um, just give it a colour. This is just how to give it a simple colour. So you see, we're just adding simple colors and what you might want to do is you might not want a color so you, you might you might just want it you might just want a texture on it um, we'll, we'll bring that we'll give it um, let's give it gray again um, so if you want to actually put a picture on it so you click let's go back so you'll click this little square here, it says none, and then you'll click on bitmap, and all my pawn will flick up. No, it won't really. Um, I did a little test earlier with this one. Um, I won't use this one. Uh, I'll use something like a brick texture, which will help. All files, um, and I've got this brick wall texture here. Alright, so what you want to do is, um, it's showing here that it's already applied. It's saying it's already applied. Um, it's not actually applied to this. Actually, let's double check. Ah, this has already gotten a, te a texture applied to it. What we'll do, we'll assign this to this selection. Like that. So now it's all, uh, it's got the link on it. Um, now it's all got um, it's got a texture on it um, this is like terrible if you look at it you think what the hell this tutorial sucks but this is just a start uh, basically uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to get um, another modifier out in the modifier list and this will help um, give the material a more or the texture a more uh, realistic look um, so what we can do is we can go down to UV map first and as you see this has already made it look a bit more convincing so say if you don't actually want to model each brick you could just add something like this and then add a bump map um, so what we'll do is first planar this isn't a planar, a planar um, object a planar object will be something that is 2D you know, like a piece of paper, say you're modeling, just uh, say if you're making a, a blueprint 
to then put behind an object so you can model model it. You'd 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 model a plane there, and then you'd add a UVW map uh, plane on map, and you'd uh, that that should give you a good result. There's different ways of doing things like that. Anyway, we'll get to that um, one day. Anyway, okay. Uh, what you wanted to click on is box, and it automatically assigns um, the textures to each side, and that's as basic as it gets. Click fit. Um, so that's the basic way of doing it. I don't use that way because it's newbie, <clears throat> but you're welcome to use it. And then if you just click, right click on it and delete it, and then go to unwrap. This is an advanced tutorial, this is the basics of how to texture an object, a simple object. And this can be used with my tutorial, but um, to use a texture with my tutorial for the Cry Engine, you have to use a TIFF file, so you'd have to go into Photoshop. Um, save it as a TIFF. You've got to use the uh, the TIFF. You've got to use the um, TIFF exporter. Uh, comes with the uh, Cry Engine, but we'll get onto that. I'll probably give you a link to that tutorial because there's loads of them out there. Okay, so what you do is click on unwrap, uh, and you click on each face, and then you can either select a quick planar, which will set um, this exact planar um, shape to each face. So if you just watch they all are given the same every every brick's gonna be roughly the same shape in here. And then it's a case of just selecting each one. Um, and then you've got yourself um, that sorted out. But if you want to be, um, if you want to choose a different method, we can use the projection. This will make um, it a little bit more tight fitting. But yeah, um, to select another face, this is where I got confused um, some time ago. You're there clicking like, oh, I want to select this face. What you got to do is you got to click out of this, then click this face, then click back into projection, and it will. Um, do a more uh, tightly fitting um, map. So click out of it, click this one, click plane R map, do it all the way around. Um, this is like my second tutorial, so they will get better with quality. I just got to uh, probably structure them a bit better. Um, so you just, just keep going, that one's already done, and that's like the basics of putting a an image onto a, an object in 3ds Max. Um, there's uh, ways of, uh, there's more advanced ways of actually uh, unwrapping the object itself when going into um, Open New UV Editor you can select um, all these faces yes, hold control I might actually go into this but um, yeah you um, you'd open the UV Editor and that's your current selection here you bring up your brick wall like so and select each individual face and then you just watch this very carefully you see what happens um, you see how it's changing yeah so if you want it to match up say it's got um, this Say you want a certain bit there to match up with a brick there. And if you want to line the bricks up correctly, um, that's basically how you do it. Well, um, rotate it, you know, 
give it a different effect. Right click to get back to normal mode. Scale. So if you want the bricks to the effect to be smaller. So if you want it the bricks to be smaller, you'd make it bigger. Like this. And then click off that. It looks a bit blurry because obviously um the um the image itself should should really have the uh, should be more um, higher definition than that. But yeah, yeah that's the um, basics. And what you do here is you just uh, match all this up to get this perfect. Um, I think this was a good example to use. Um, there is other um, other ways of doing things, but I thought I thought this was a good example. And you can drag out each face. You see down here, you can drag them out. And you can um, you can put these in Photoshop, and then you could say do a custom brick texture in Photoshop once you've um, unwrapped this whole box. But yeah, I'm gonna um, go back, 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 and I'm gonna select everything. And basically that's the end of the tutorial. Um, that's that's the basics really. Um, what I just did there is um, I I basically prepared this for Photoshop. It's not totally prepared, but what I did is I got this box. And if you remember when you were at school, you used to you know you used to get the pieces of paper. You'd, you'd flatten them out, you know, to make a box, and then you put them together using glue. It's it's basically just getting this box, cutting it from each edge. It's cutting it down here, and I'll cut it down the back, and I'll flatten it. So I just flattened the whole box. Then you'd save this particular uh, set, this particular. Um, Layout, um, take it into Photoshop, and then if you can literally paint straight over it, um, bring it back in, and that way you'll have the exact texture you want for that particular face. Um, so that's the end of the tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching, and keep looking out for more quick tips. And um, I'll have part two up of my other tutorial. Um, which involves the crying gin, getting um, this brick wall sorted out. Um, the tutorial will change. I'm going to do a high poly version and a low poly because uh, someone let me know that you can only have 64 um, breakable objects within your, your crying gin. So uh, I'm going to make it so that more bricks are huddled together. So you shoot out a chunk instead of individual bricks. But I'll, I'll do an individual brick tutorial as well. Okay, so thanks for watching. Oh, and uh, yeah, sorry, I just I just paused it because I noticed that in... Um, basically, this is a bit more advanced. Uh, say you want to send this into Photoshop, this little bit here. You would just um, click out of there. Um, you go into Tools, go all the way down. And you would render UV to UVW template, but that's not an advanced way of doing it. Sending this into Photoshop, you'd probably stitch some of these together to save some space. I don't know, but um, yeah, you'd click this. Usually, it would be like this, and when you render it, you'd be like, "What the hell?" You'd be thinking, "I can't send that to Photoshop." But um, yeah, um, uh, you'd click on Mode and click on Solid and render it. And then you can save this and call it um, brick template for photo. Whoa, photo shot. And then you take it to Photoshop, paint it, and then it's all done. But I'm going to do a tutorial just on that. I haven't done much of that myself, so I'm going to actually 
do it as I go and then we can learn together. Um, I'll bring another one up there. So you just you're just paint inside of this area and then you bring the texture back in and this would fit exactly with these faces. So that's the tutorial done, 100%. And let me know how I did. And um, that's just a quick tip. It's not nothing huge. Um, if you like the quick tips, I'll keep doing them. So uh, thanks for watching, and look out for my other tutorials on Crowning.